Okay, so uh, we are going to talk about events um, on our website today. So a lot of uh, a lot of you guys uh, do have different events, and you want to showcase those on your website. Um, some of you have uh, reoccurring events. You've got a lot of events. Some of you just got a couple events here and there. So there's a lot of different options um, uh, for for showcasing your events. You can simply use the post system. You can just create a page and write your events on there. Uh, but one of the really great uh, opportunities or you know uh, plugins, if you will, for you is the events calendar. That's what it's called. I've installed this on, on virtually every site I've built um, for the last decade. So uh, it's a fantastic plugin, which is uh, comes with a free version, which is installed. It also does come with additional uh, paid versions too, if you want, and all sorts of add-ons as far as like ticketing and. Uh, and charging credit cards for for things and all sorts of stuff. So you can basically do anything you want with it. So I'm just going to lead you through some basics as far as setting it up because that's really what most of you will be doing with it. So let's get started. So we're going to head over to our dashboard, and um, the first thing we're going to do is cruise over here. After our plugin has been activated, we will just go to Events, and we can check out our current list of events. Um, so I have done this, already loaded this page, so here it is, and I've created four sample events here, and then we can go ahead and edit these events, just like a regular post or page, or we can click add new, and we can add a new event. So let's see what that looks like. We're going to come, and we're going to add a new event, and you can see that this looks very, very similar to everything we've already done with posts and pages. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and put our title there, obviously. We're going to go ahead and put um, a description of the event. Hey, what's happening here at this event? What's going on, right? Um, get, you know, really talk it up. This is also super important, by the way, and this is one of the primary reasons to use the event calendar plugin. Um, this is super valuable for search engine optimization because what you're doing is you're actually creating a, a specific page on your website in addition to um, putting this on a calendar. This is its own page, which will have its own URL. Uh, it will um, it will have its own search engine, uh, or you know, meta words that you're focusing on, all sorts of stuff. So this is super valuable. Even after the event is over, the calendar plugin will move it to um, past events, but this page will still be active. And, and in fact, you can even go on it later and um, and add to it. Maybe add some pictures, you know, say how the event was, something like that. So anyway. Just a side note, this is really valuable for that reason. So we're going to do this just like we would a post, okay? So um, we even have categories which we can use, we can create if we've got different types of events. So um, maybe we've got weekly events or we've got one-time events or we've got festivals or music or whatever we have, right? So you can do that if you choose to. And then, of course, we're going to use the featured image the exact same way that we use the featured image with everything else. Now. Here's the part that's different. It's this section right here, the events calendar. You see this is a new section that we didn't have before. We can toggle that open or close, and this is where you're going to put all the details of your event that's going to put it on the calendar for you. So you'll see that your time, your day, all that sort of stuff. And then this is pretty cool. You can actually put the venue on as well, decide to show it on the map if you want, put a link to that map, and you can create venues once you create them, they're available in here, and so you don't have to recreate them. So, if, in other words, if you've got like recurring events at um, in different places, like or in different places, or, or sorry, in the same place, then you just create the event one time, and then it's it's done. So, um, you can also have separate information for organizers who they might contact. Maybe the event has a website, uh, whatever. So there's a lot of options that you can do for this. Um, and then, of course, you can even do tickets. Like, how do people get tickets if, if this is like a paid event? So it's pretty cool. It's pretty robust, okay? Then you're going to go ahead just like a post, and you are going to publish it. And this is what it's going to look like. It's got its own page, remember, just like the rest of your website, right? So this is, this is what it is. It's got its own URL, okay? It's got all the details of the event, the venue, a Google Map link, um, everything else like that. People can actually import it into their calendars if they would like to. So there's lots and lots of different options uh, for this event. That's what it looks like. Now, you might be asking, um, 
how do people find this event, right? So that's what we're going to look at now. If you go to the events page on your website, which is simply forward slash events, then what you're going to see is a list of all of your events. And you can choose to do this by list, by month, by uh, day, however you want to do it, you can do it. So, um, and, and basically what you're, you're going to do is just look at this URL that you want, all right? And you'll be able to put that URL, for example, into your navigation bar, for example, anywhere you want. You could have an events thing here, and you would just use this link right here to get people to go to your events, right? Okay, so now we're going to um, talk about, uh, this is a, a specific client. Uh, Mr. Brian has a question here. Um, he wants to uh, figure out how to put events into his uh, homepage of his website. And so this is also something that's really cool. You don't have to just have your own page. You can actually put it into another page, like on your website, like his homepage, where Brian has his latest articles show up when he makes a new post. And then we want the latest events to go right in here. So that's what we did. Okay, we go to that homepage, and I've just created a little test homepage here for him. Okay, and so what we see is we've got our different containers with our Fusion Builder. If you're not familiar with this, please go back to the videos um, that explain the Fusion Builder. Okay, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to find the right section, and here it is right here. We are scrolling down, and we see here's that blog section right here. We've got that blog layout, and we're going to put our events right underneath it. And so what I did is I created a new uh, container. I called it Events created my uh, my column and again if you're not familiar with this please go back to the fusion builder then what I did is I just added an element okay and that element that I added was events so I just scrolled down here and I went to events and I clicked on that and then I just set up what I wanted it to look like when I clicked on it so I chose I just left it blank for all the categories right Okay, and then I decided, do I want to display past events? Yes, I do. What's the order of the events, et cetera, et cetera, like how many columns, et cetera. So you can make it look like anything you want to make it look like. And so this is the way it looks like now on this test homepage for Brian, right? So um, what we did is under that latest articles, we said, let's, um, whoops, my battery's running low. So let's uh, go ahead and put upcoming events, and that's where it is. So I'm going to shut this video down now before my battery dies. But um, thanks so much for watching, and I hope that answers your questions on the event calendar.